and we're back with another video this one is going to be showing you how you can get the skull key I have yet to do a video on the newest update that brought us a bunch of new stuff. Before I do that video, I thought I might as well do this one first since a lot of people have been asking me in game. So if this video helps you, be sure to hit that thumbs up button and subscribe. You can turn on the notification bell if you don't want to miss any of my uploads. Let's get started. You'll need to travel to Yokai Island and then in the village, you're going to want to run down to where the docks are and talk to this person here. Now you need to do most of the quests in this area to get access to this stage of the quests. You're going to have this little option right here. So make sure you take that and you're going to be back in this familiar place to the right. You're going to come up here. You can just ignore that. And over here, you're going to see a new NPC, No Eyed Willy. Upon interacting with him, you're going to see there are no quests or anything. And that is because you need to get something from the dungeon. So if you head back this direction, oh crap, let's just ignore that. If you head this direction, you will be seeing the Vengeance Challenge. So you're going to want to run this challenge. Now in this challenge, you need to find a key before you kill the boss. So you need to check in the locations. Now there are several locations that this key spawns. And this one here got really lucky because here it is right beside me. So we're just going to grab that and you will see this prompt. You may also find it over here as well. And up on the third floor, you may find it over here, right about here. And underneath the boss, you may find it sitting on this thing right here and there are multiple other locations where the gold thing drops now i'm not going to go into detail on every single location actually here is a screenshot this is sent on the ae federation thanks to tiki he shows some of the locations here where you can get the key so big thanks to him for posting those on the federation and once you have the key you can go and fight the boss and this is a pretty tricky fight. You're going to want to avoid the cannon fire because that can cause quite a bit of damage. And you're going to want to avoid his attacks as well. It's pretty easy to do. You just kind of evade out of the way. And once you kill the boss, then a chest will spawn. Now, if you did not grab the key before you kill the boss, then you will not get this chest. Before you actually destroy the chest, make sure everybody else has gotten a hit in on the chest because if everybody else hasn't gotten a hit, they're not going to get the drop. And this is definitely a team effort, so make sure everybody's present to take on that chest. In the chest, you are going to find a gold doubloon. Once you've gotten that, good game everybody, and then head out of the lobby. Once you've got the doubloon, you're going to want to go back over here. you got to get rid of that and talk to this guy right here. And then you're going to see a quest appear as well as a craft shop. So click on this quest and you're going to see a little prompt here with a golden doubloon and you can accept this and then turn it in. This is how you're going to get the skull key. And I'll be showing you this in my next video. According to some of the people on the Federation, you are not going to get the skull key until you've done a minimum of 10 quests for the golden doubloon. And when you do finally get the quest that does give the skull key, it will make mention of it in the prompt thing. If you don't really read the messages and you're not sure if you have the skull key or not, there's another way of knowing. If you're still getting 20 gold every time you turn in the quest, you don't have the skull key. After you have the skull key, you're going to be getting over 2000 gold per quest turn in. So that is how you will know if you have the skull key or not. It is not an item that will appear in your inventory and there is no notification that you've gotten the skull key. So that is the only way of knowing if you currently have the skull key or not. If you don't, you're going to have to keep repeating this quest, which means you need to get more gold doubloons and it might take a while. Some people have taken a really long time to finally get the skull key and others have gotten it within the first 15 times of completing the quest. So it's all a matter of RNG. And once you have the key, you're going to want to run the challenge again. This time you're going to want to run it in your private or party if you're in a party. Once you're in the dungeon, you're just going to, well, just follow this video. I'll show you exactly where to go up the first flight of stairs, up the second flight of stairs, and just double around. And right here, you've got 
this right here. You've got the ship's bow challenge. And in here, you're going to have four new weapons you can get. You can run the public dungeon or the party dungeon if you have a group with you. And I'll show you more details on this, but this video was just exclusively about getting the skull key and where to use it. Inside the challenge, you're going to be facing a huge guy. And once you kill the boss, you're going to be opening up a chest if you're still alive. And you might get lucky and get one of the new level 29 weapons. Also, once you've completed the challenge, you won't have to run through this challenge to get to the ship's bow challenge. You'll be able to go right there and grab it. And that is it for the video. Thanks for watching and we'll see you in the next one.